Hey, good afternoon. This is Bruce Nelson with Armada Technologies, and I'm here today to give you a quick video on our new Pro 95i milliamp clamp meter that is going to replace the Pro 95 and the Pro 93. These are staple units that we've had in the marketplace for about 10 years. They're used in troubleshooting two-wire systems, and just quickly an overview of what they'll do for, or what the Pro 95i will do for you that the Pro 95 uh, did not. First of all, we're maintaining the true RMS uh, capability of the meters, so they're going to be accurate 100% of the time. It is also, of course, milliamp. You need that when you're doing two-wire troubleshooting. But it also, we've added a few other things. First and foremost, um, we have added alligator clips that go uh, on the uh, standard multimeter probe uh, leads. Those are nice if you're trying to clamp onto a wire versus trying to hold the meter and probe here and probe there. You're trying to do three things with two hands. This allows you to be, be able to use the uh, alligators to hold onto that copper. Nice feature. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to. They're detachable. Additionally, we have a cheat sheet, which we're, which we're kind of famous for in our multimeters in the irrigation world. This is in English and in Spanish both, and it will tell you what settings to put the meter on and what the readings mean when you get those readings. So it's a nice little cheat sheet or a little quickie thing. Third, we also have a have changed the LPF or low pass filter mode button to be just the opposite. Low pass filter means it gets rid of all the higher frequencies and gives you a more stable reading on your meter. Unfortunately, on the 95, to get that stability, you had to push this button manually to put it in that mode. Now it's going to default to the, uh, to the uh, low pass filter mode automatically. If you want to get rid of that, you're going to push the wide button. This is just a convenience. It makes it a little more stable for you to use right out of the box. And last but not least, the uh, ohms reading has been changed from a fairly low uh, continuity test ohms reading that you could turn off and go to a wider range of 600,000 ohms on the 95. On the 95i, it's going to default to the 600,000 ohm, 600, ohm range. And if you want to take it off that, you can. But again, we're defaulting to the features or the settings that most people want to use anyway. So in summation, the 95i is very similar to the 95, still true RMS, still milliamp capable. But you're going to get alligator clips, a cheat sheet, low pass filter automatically engaged, and also a wider resistance band already engaged. So uh, any questions, give us a call at Armada. And that's my video for today.